a journey that began in 1948 for the Ministry of External Affairs, known as MEA in the government setup, has grown leaps and bounds, and the recent years have witnessed unprecedented outreach matching India's rising profile in the global arena. Today, MEA is at the forefront of contributing to India's new development paradigm. The face of diplomacy has changed, and citizen-centric and development-oriented policies have become the core of Indian foreign policy. Now, it is about bringing foreign policy to the people and people to the foreign policy of India to make it more inclusive and accessible. The changes that Indian diplomacy is undergoing is expressed in multiple ways. Some of that are in policies, in priorities and in practices. But there are other steps that indicate new thinking and pressure. The establishment of a division dealing with states speaks of cooperative federalism. A technology division underlines the relevance of that domain. The opening of new embassies signifies our growing footprint abroad. आज भारत में इनोवेशन के लिए विश्व में सबसे उत्तम इकोसिस्टम है भारत के सत्तर हजार से अधिक स्टार्टअप में सौ से अधिक यूनिकॉर्न है द इकोनॉमिक डिप्लोमेसी डिविजन फेसिलिटेट्स फॉरेन इन्वेस्टमेंट फ्लोज प्रमोट्स बायोलैटरल ट्रेड टूरिज्म योगा एंड ट्रेडिशनल इंडियन मेडिसिन इन कोऑर्डिनेशन विद इंडियन मिशन अब्रॉड other ministries of the government of india and state governments state governments have a lot to bring to the table of international diplomacy and help make it work to solve local problems such is the success of this endeavor that in the last 5 years india has jumped 79 positions in world bank ranking of ease of doing business and now ranks 63rd Many high level visits took place after a gap of 10 to 60 years. 54 African countries joined hands in the India Africa Forum Summit and unveiled a transformative agenda of mutual resurgence. In a first, 10 ASEAN leaders participated in India's Republic Day celebrations on the 26th of January 2018. India has been a leading voice against terrorism, piracy, drug trafficking, human trafficking and fake currency. India has entered into collaborations with other nations for anti-piracy operations and joined international groupings for access to best in class technology and weapons to safeguard the nation. Diplomatic efforts have enabled India to procure an uninterrupted and affordable flow of oil and natural gas from major Gulf countries. As part of our commitment to clean energy, India together with France proposed the International Solar Alliance for all countries between the tropics. With Nepal, Bhutan and Bangladesh, India has developed hydropower projects so that excess power can be supplied to india's northeastern states inspired by the spirit of vasudeva kutumbakam india's international development cooperation has expanded significantly in recent years in its geographical reach as well as in areas of cooperation currently india has committed lines of credit worth 30.66 billion dollars to 64 countries. India has imported funds, technology and expertise to countries in Africa, Asia, Eastern Europe, Central and Latin America. India has supplied more than 70 million doses of vaccines to 93 countries and two UN entities including the UN peacekeeping force. PM Modi has inspired a number of soft power initiatives to further bolster 
India's image internationally and working behind the scenes augmenting the Prime Minister's dynamic vision is the Indian Council for Cultural Relations or ICCR. To mark 75 years of India's journey, ICCR in coordination with missions and posts abroad is celebrating Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav, showcasing India's glorious history, culture and achievements. MEA's commitment to serve Indian people can be seen by how in the last few years it has completely revolutionized the passport services. As of January 2023, MEA has issued more than 82,684,233 passports in India. The total number of passport seva kendras functioning in the country are 523 and more than 177 Indian missions and posts have been integrated into the Passport Seva program. The Pravasi Bharatiya Divas, organized by MEA, further strengthens the engagement of the overseas Indian community and reconnects them with their roots. In the last five years, nearly 250,000 Indians were rescued from different parts of the world. Led by the MEA, the Operation Ganga initiative brought back 18,278 Indians stranded in Ukraine. MEA set up 24-7 control centers to assist in the evacuation of Indians through the border crossing points with Hungary, Poland, Romania, Moldova and Slovak Republic. Under Operation Dev Shakti, a total of 669 people were evacuated from Afghanistan. The Vande Bharat mission launched by the MEA became one of the largest evacuations of civilians by a country in human history. As on 29 July 2021, more than 88,700 inbound flights operated to bring back 72 lakh passengers to India from more than 100 countries. In the same period, more than 88,000 outbound flights took more than 58 lakh passengers from India to foreign countries. When India grows, the world grows. When India reforms, the world transforms. I think the India way would be a country which brings its capacities to bear on the international system for global good which is a net security provider, which is a contributor to connectivity, uh, which is firm in dealing with challenges like terrorism, uh, which has its values and practices, uh, which uh, addresses uh, global issues like climate change. To be more of a decider or a shaper rather than an abstainer. I would say India owes it to itself and to the world. Uh, to be a just power, a fair power, uh, to be a standard bearer for the South. I think it's part of our history, it's part of our political inheritance. Uh, so uh, I think uh, India must live up to those obligations in a, in a uh, practical way uh, and be the voice for, for the South. <laughs> 